What's going on everybody? Great white north bullies here. Back at it. Today we've got 11 month old XL American bully Lupin. And we've got the newest addition to the family, a four month old, another XL American bully. Her name is Bellatrix. If you haven't figured out by now, my dogs are named after Harry Potter characters. I'm a bit of a nerd. So today we're taking Bella on, I think it's her third, um, off-leash hike and through this more secluded area. And we've got our older dog Lupin here leading the way. So sit back and enjoy and we'll see what kind of things that we get up to on this hike. As you can see, I've got Bellatrix on a long line here. She doesn't have the most perfect recall yet, as she's still extremely young and gets distracted very easily. So it just helps for her to be easily, she's easily, it's early in the morning, uh, easily picked back up and reeled in if necessary. But you will see, as we go, she doesn't get very far without turning around to check in with me. She's still a puppy. It's the pleasure of having a pup. They don't like to get too far away out of your sight, which makes it pretty good and pretty safe to um, have them off lead in a place like this.
as you can see Lupin is the pacemaker and Bella will follow him until she gets a little too far she turns around and she looks for me so if you usually see Lupin on his own it's because Bella's right beside me and she comes back again just the puppy instinct but as they get older, they get braver, they get more comfortable, and they want to experiment off on their own. <laughs> Bella's a completely different dog than Lupin. Bella is spicy, she's tenacious and fearless, and she's a smart little cookie. Lupin was much different, he was very docile, sleepy, he grew a lot faster than she did, and he's going to be a lot bigger than she will be, and I think that has something to do with it, but um, kudos to Bella, she is smarter, she's female, I'm assuming that's probably why. Sorry, males, but our counterparts tend to be brighter than we are. I try not to bark out too many commands and let them try to be puppies here. Um, I will test them from time to time to make sure that they are listening. I think it's a really good idea. Hey Bella, hey cutie, hey gorgeous. But while it's wide open, there's no one here. Might as well let them explore and be dogs. And if they get away, Good boy. Come on, Lupin. Let's go. I want to move. I want them to follow. So let's get them moving. There we go. Good boy. Good girl. It's so freaking icy here today again. If you watched the last video, I should have put it in the description. I had a nice wipeout. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that after this. And you guys can see. An epic fail. Worse than my camera angle is, it already is. So let's try not to repeat, but there's a good chance that it will happen again. And no shame. This is the exact spot where I fell before, so. It's good, the dog's checking back in. Even Lupin doesn't get too far without looking back to see where I am. The one disadvantage to that long line is the occasional accidental step. <laughs> that gives her a correction for no reason at all. Oops, sorry Bella.
Good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Again, absolutely fearless. See Lupin's not meant for any type of agility work. That guy is a big lug. Mm -hmm. 